is Kent. We're Kentastic from Discord. I have a short video for you today. We're going to add a button to the Tricks toolbar in Action Text. So to get started, we will create a new Rails app. Once this is loaded, we're going to adjust Action Text just to make up for the tailwind inconsistencies that happen sometimes. And then we'll install the button. Let's jump right in. Let's do install Action Text. And we'll create a simple scaffold uh, to give us something to work with here. Give it a title, and then for action text, we will just call it content, and we'll use the nice rich text helper here. Help us create everything. All right, so we'll start our web server, and head on over to the browser. And of course, we forgot the migrations, so we'll hit the handy button, and I'm just going to dump a few things in here to show you how the buttons, some of them are not working. We're back, I just typed in a few things here, and I will just show you, as you hit these buttons, most of them work. There's the strike. All right, so there we go, we have our heading, quote, the code button, bullet points and there we go so you'll see that most of it does work uh, bold metallics however the links a little bit off it's missing the text decoration and color codes working codes okay no bullet points or this so let's fix that app assets style sheets we're going to use the action text here for the ordered list we're going to use decimal for the unordered list, we're going to do disk, which is the dot. We're just going to add a little text decoration for the link. should use blue. I used orange, just in case you want to theme for colors, but normally use blue. And for the code block, I thought it'd be fun to style a little bit for the text and the background, force it to be black. Here, actually, I'm going to change it to something else you can do. Make it ABC. And here, something else you can do is emojis. So let's, we should see a change here. So there you go. You got the text decoration. We got a little bit of formatting here, quotes a little different. We got little bullet points here with John Wick, and of course the ABCs of selling. Actually, one more thing I will do, I forgot to mention. There's something else you can add here. You can add the tailwind typography, which helps a little bit as well. This will be on every page. And then a small little thing, in the post form, just personal preference, I don't need to see the title. That's from the scaffolding. So we'll take this out and maybe make the text a little bigger for the title. Or a lot bigger. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to making the button. First thing we have to do is add an initializer. So we'll go down to the initializers here, create a new file. Let's call it action text. And I will paste this in. So this is an initializer, a uh, Rails application config. After initializes, we are basically adding the HTML mark tag, which will create like a highlighter effect. And we're just letting it action text know about it so it won't sanitize it out for later. So JavaScript application JS. All right, so I'll add this in. We're just gonna bring in tricks. We're gonna add, we're just gonna call it highlight, uh, give it the mark tag. On the event listener, we're going to listen for the tricks initialize event. And then on the toolbar, we're going to grab the toolbar section, which is text tools. After that, we're going to add a button. I will show you how I found that. If it's tricks editor, you can head on over to GitHub. And if you scroll through, you'll see here, we've got the tricks initialize event. So this happens when the tricks editor is attached to the DOM and the editor is ready for use. Another thing we did by going to the source code, I drove down into tricks, source, tricks, config on the toolbar JS. And I saw that the buttons here, bold, italic, strike, and you can see here, this is the where the text tools it comes from. They were setting up the buttons here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing for a highlight button using the mark tag and just piggyback on what's happening with the other ones for tricks. The other thing we're going to do is in grab an icon here. I used font awesome and just we're using the SVG here. So that's where this came from. That's where I got the button. And I just changed the name match here, highlight. So instead of bold, I got highlight. And this 
stacking like this. So that's going to be the title of the button. You have a hotkey. I used Y for yellow. We have one more thing to add. All right, so I'll add this in. So this is a tricks toolbar, tricks button icon highlight. And before we're using background image, and this is the SVG part. So if you wanted to swap out the icon, you would just take this part out and replace it with the SVG from Fun Awesome or wherever else you like. We do have to kill our server because we did an initializer. So let's reboot everything up. And head on over to our best post ever. <laughs> and let's edit this post. So look at that, we've got our highlighter button. I am going to highlight everything. I'll hit the hotkey, so Command Y. There you go. Update the post, and there you got your highlighter. So the last thing I will do here is I will try the last button we didn't use here. And there's the Go Rails crew at RailsConf. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's pretty simple. A couple of little files. You just copy that text in, and we'll talk to you later.